I don't know. Wind or something. But yeah, our boat's all messed up. The anchor's underneath it. So we've got to get into the dinghy. We did this last night. We did this last night. Um, we got to get into the dinghy. Push the stern this way. Because the current's like pushing this way. And the wind's pushing this way. Terrible anchorage. If you're in Atlantic City, watch out for this one. It's right outside the marina. Any rudder. Yeah, and hold it right there. Hold it there. Oh, I see. Hold it there. Oh, it's turning. Yep, hold it. I'm gonna go turn on the engine. second time renting a dock space. what she looks like right now. There it is. So much better. Clean up the boat a bit. Got the dinghy all cleaned up. It looks a lot better. Yeah, it does. A white water line now. And we're gonna go check out the facilities. Look at that one. Oh, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta get quarters. about your winnings. 
spread it on black. Or do laundry with it. So lately we've been loving Instacart because we can go to a marina or actually go anywhere really close enough to stores and just get all kinds of groceries delivered. Well, since we've been doing so much motoring, it's time to do an oil change on the boat and some other maintenance. Um, we've had one issue with the boat. It had two crush washers. I lost one of them. But I just put a gasket maker around it just to seal it. And without the crush washer, it screws in a little more. So it's gonna be enough to hold it until we fix that either a thread insert or replace the housing. Along with the Instacart order, we got some oil. We're gonna change the oil out because we put on a lot of hours. So let's go down there, pinch the oil out. To pump out the oil, I have the manual pump inside the dipstick hole, and we're just squeezing this, pumping it out manually, siphoning it. And it's such a slow process. All right, after all that pumping, that's how much oil I got out. Definitely could have let the engine run a little longer to get it warmer. Uh, but we got it out. Now we got to replace that with some fresh oil. Need some fresh oil there. We got about a gallon of diesel out. Now we got the trash over there. We can walk it all the way over there. This marina, the Golden Nugget Casino, has an oil disposal place. So that's kind of cool. I don't think they charge for oil disposal like some places do. Let's go. This is the Golden Nugget Casino Marina. And overall, I'd rate this place like a two. That's probably vomit. It is out of season, so I wouldn't expect it to be nice right now, but still. The facilities, the marina itself, the docks. They did some repairs on it, but these docks are falling apart. Overall, not a great place. You should go inside. They're vengeful right there. <laughs> I did that. Do you like them? <laughs> he doesn't like them. <laughs> departing Atlantic City now. We try to get diesel over there, but the machine's not working, so we put the last jerry can in. We've got about a full tank. We're gonna try to get down to Cape May. We'll have to get diesel there before we do the stretch down in Norfolk after that. So we ended up sailing all day to Cape May. We're at this anchorage right here, and it's got a limited space because there's a channel right there, and it goes right by the boat. So we're kind of just measuring the distance and also there's that boat right there. So, don't want to end up like them. <laughs> we have all that dredging equipment back there, so we can't anchor back there. We should what? We should just be like, we have anchor buddies. We've never had anchor buddies before. And no, then it's just... uh, Fisher Island, remember? Fisher Island? Oh, yeah. One anchor buddy, but that is our other that's, anchor that's buddy. Our anchor buddy. We love having anchor buddies. He's really anchored. Yeah. He's I bet not I bet he's set. Anyways, we'll call it a day here. That was actually a pretty good day. It was uh, 40 miles or something like that.